Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Kareen here, and, uh, welcome to the park, uh, back again with another episode. I don't know which one this is specifically, but I assume we'll find that out later. Um, I'm playing on 1.7 this episode because I found that playing on 1.8 proves that it has many, many things that make it kind of difficult to play UHC games, um, such as when you go to Anvil stuff, it tells you the improper amount of levels you need to, uh, combine things. Um, and I've just decided that I'm going to play it on 1.7 for now, because there's no way that you can really... You basically are forced to play on 1.7, considering the fact that, um, all the, uh... Most people play on 1.7 on here anyways, which already, uh, proves as a difficulty, considering the different... Um, considering the differentiation between 1.7 and 1.8, um, with hit detection and all that type of stuff, and the way levels and all that sort of thing go together, and uh, yeah, just basically a bunch of, basically a massive combination of many things that are sort of confusing and can be confusing at times. Um, but yeah, obviously on here, on the park, there are only currently a few game modes that you can play, as well as, um, oh wait, is it not this tree? It may not, it might be that tree over there, which that guy's at, damn, okay, well, that's unfortunate. Seems as if that man is going to go, and we're just gonna go over here then. If he does, then that's a rip, and we're gonna have to probably restart the recording, honestly, because I don't want to start off with just a game having nothing and then dying. That would suck, suck major loads of thing. Um, I do have, actually, I actually do have sort of a type of route on here, so I may take advantage of that, considering not many people usually take it. Um, of course now I'm showing it on video though, so a lot of people probably will. Uh, I'm gonna backstab this guy. Oh, never mind, he's jumping down. Um, but yeah, I guess my route that I'll reveal, since this is SG4, and mainly the park is played on SG4, because nobody votes for anything else, unfortunately. Um, you guys will basically find out what I do most of the game. So most of the time I find that no, not many people take this chest, which of course is even true to that moment there, because nobody had taken it, um, and then after that, nobody else either goes down here as well, and just freely jump down here, and not take that fall damage, that was a mistake of mine that I've just made. So we're gonna be on fairly low health here, but, yeah, there's a chest right there that nobody really takes ever, and I'll eat this for now, I guess, I may as well. And then, in addition, there's also another one over here. A lot of the people ignore the sewer chest, but it's actually usually a pretty good, um, method of obtaining stuff. And one thing that sucks about playing 1.7 in, in differentiation to 1.8 is that, uh, I have toggle sprint on my 1.8 client on Minecraft, and it's, uh, this obviously doesn't. It only has Optifine, as you can see, on, er, on F3 there. Um, so yeah, I have to deal with, uh, changing to my old sprint key and holding that down. I'm just gonna snatch that, so are there any decent books here? Sharp, sharp, power. Make it power. It's five levels, I'm one short. Let's see if anyone left any XP. Doesn't look like it, and I'm being in a pro too, so that's good. Okay, yeah. I didn't really expect anything from that, honestly. Alright, let's get into another game here really quickly. Um, but yeah, another one of the arguments that many people have usually is, or one that I actually saw today on Twitter is, how dependent on UHC is luck versus skill? Um, obviously luck has a big portion to do with UHC, and that guy just managed to fall while trying to chase me, lol. Um, but yeah, I would say that UHC is 60% luck, or 70% luck, and 30% skill. Um, which I feel like is a fair, justified amount of stuff because obviously if you if you're like good enough to kill a man in full diamond in your cave you can do so and obtain full diamond obviously which would be something interesting um i don't know how many people can actually um i've done it i think once maybe um but yeah it's not one of the super common things that occurs and it's not you're not always going to be able to do it either because a big portion of luck that is involved in UHC is who you run into initially anyway, who you're scattered near, who's near you, who fucking, like, caves the best, how good are people's caves. Like, there's so many different 
um, ideas and things that can spur off of UHC that you have no idea that, like, there are so many variations of ways to think about how a UHC could have been different. For example, if I took half a heart at the start of a game, and then end up dying to a guy on half a heart, what, did I die to the guy on half a heart because I took half a heart at the start of the game, or is it because of the fact that I, um... Was it because of the fact that I had less gear than him, and that guy just absolutely destroyed me, alright. But yeah, I feel like that's one of the things that people often overlook when they think about UHC. Um, it's very, it's very, there's so many things that could be different about it, dependent on what happens in one specific game, or what happens in one specific moment, even. Um, it's like, it's very just different up. It could be, like, like, the chances of finding, I get mine shafts whenever I play UHC, like, 50% of the time. And maybe, like, 5% of the time that I do get a mine shaft, I find something good in said mine shaft. Um, meanwhile, there are times where everyone gets uh, mine shafts, and the people who keep getting the mine shafts consistently, um, consistently get good things in them. Like for example, whether you find a Y12 mine shaft and you just consistently always get diamonds. Um, it's just like there's so many things, dude, that come into play when thinking about UHC. You can never say that UHC is based off of one particular thing because. It uh, quite literally revolves around so many different things. Um, and this guy's trying to melee rush me, and I'm not trying to have that, so no thanks. Uh, I think I just shot him off, maybe? No, I don't think so. Um, but we're gonna try and get up here and hit him off. Okay, this, these guys are teaming. I killed one of them. And I killed the other by fall damage. Damn it, dude. I wish I could just do good for once. Oh my god. But yeah, anyway, it's just like... It's basically... T hmm. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, another thing that is happening is that this weekend... Um, I don't know when this is going to be coming out. But this weekend, at some point, I'm going to be going to PAX East... 2016 and meeting a few of my friends from online, so that should be fun. Um, I'm very excited for it, obviously, as I would be, considering I've been talking to these people for a very good portion of my life, and, uh, and by very good portion, I mean like two years, but even still, that's a very, well, not very, but that's quite a good amount of time to talk to people. Um, I'm gonna quickly go back down here and make three apples, because I think there's a crafting table down here, if I remember correctly. Wait, where even is the thing anyway? I think it's right there. Um, that guy just killed a man in there. I may go down there afterwards. Since I'll have absorption hearts to spare. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's just like... I don't know, man. Minecraft is also another thing that just generally is getting a lot more competitive. Uh, whether I like to admit that or not. Uh, personally, I don't think Minecraft is built to be competitive unless Mojang decides that they could help people make it more competitive, but there's no reason for it to be. Like, why would Minecraft need to be a competitive sport if it could easily just be fine as it is? Um, we're gonna see what this guy has in a minute here, too. That man is in full diamond. I'm gonna help this guy. Uh, okay, I don't have a pearl. Good. Haha, <laughs> lol. Um, but I guess another thing that I could talk about is the good old presidential election of 2016 that is coming up very soon. Um, obviously I don't know how many of you guys are actually paying attention to that, but there are quite a few different things that could potentially happen. Um, obviously Trump is currently in the lead for the good old Republican Party, and because of this, oh god. But yeah, Trump is in the lead currently for the Re Republican Party, and that could I honestly either turn whichever way uh, it could potentially happen, I don't know. Um, but personally, in my opinion, I don't really give a flying fuck about the election, mainly because I won't be able to vote when the time comes. I'll be a month... I'll be, uh... When the election happens, it'll be a month until I turn 18, so... Uh, it's quite unfortunate, but there's not really much that you can do. Yep, and thankfully there is a gapel in here, actually, so I may be able to actually... Okay, never mind! What the hell? And now I can't hit this guy. Okay. 
and he could still hit me. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, the entire election really could be considered a, con a controversial topic in itself because there are so many things that could lead to potential um, either um, representatives of each party getting like I don't know. This person's gonna try and kill me too. Um, but yeah, there's so many things that could potentially lead to it. Like, I don't know if you guys have been paying ex an extreme amount of attention, but, um, it's very possible that Hillary Clinton may be arrested, actually, if she's not elected president because of some crime that she committed. I don't know what specifically, but I'm gonna be killed by this man. Alright, now, quite honestly, um, there are many different things, too, that could potentially happen with the election, but I'm just going to get off the topic of the election now, because this is likely the last, um, likely the last, mainly because I'm sick and tired of being slaughtered five seconds after killing a man. But yeah, like, uh, I hopefully, I would hope that you guys enjoy this type of commentary style that I'm doing now, because, uh, it's definitely something that I'm interested in keeping up with this series, especially since I can just get along uh, all my opinions on stuff, because, uh, yeah, I mean, the entire point of commentary really is to, I, f I feel at least, is to get to know the person better rather than, um, rather than it be, have somebody talk about the game and uh, just focus more on that than anything. Um, I mean, of course, tagging the game into it is important because, Otherwise, people could just literally straight up steal your commentary off the video, um, and you wouldn't even realize that it would be stolen because of the fact that uh, there's nothing that... Okay, good. Alright, but yeah, this is definitely going to be the last game. I know I said the last one would be, but I just got backstabbed in the middle of a sentence, so there was really nothing that I could do. Um, but yeah, I know this episode was sort of all over the place. Hopefully more episodes in the future will be more composed rather than all over the place like this one has been. Um, and I'm being backstabbed again. I love my life. Um, but yeah, this episode was sort of all over the place, and I do apologize for that. But at the same time, the episodes in the future will likely have much better stuff involved with all the, um topics and such, because I will likely actually ask on Twitter for people to suggest topics they'd like my opinion on, and then I'll give them my opinion, obviously, through these episodes. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is just sort of, this episode is sort of just all over the place and wasn't really meant to focus on the new type of commentary, it was more to introduce it more than anything. Um, I'm just gonna kill this man, because he wasn't running. But yeah, I probably won't be playing future episodes of this in 1.7 like I have this one. Uh, because my entire playstyle really is so used to 1.8. And, um, my FPS is also slightly hindered. Um, it, you guys are probably like, oh, he has 150, he's fine. Um, and while it is true that I do have 150 FPS, it still seems quite choppy to me. And it feels like 1.7 is just overall a less optimized version, which it... It has been proven that it is, so I mean. Um, but yeah, aside from that, it's basically, uh, the series is mainly going to be more of an opinion type series nowadays, and will likely be more focused on topics as such. But yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series so far regardless. I've been happy that I can finally actually make a series like this where I can start commentating on things. Um, I actually am currently brainstorming a few ideas that could potentially be used in the next episode, which actually may as well be used in the next episode. Um, so I'm sort of excited to use those later on. I don't know if anybody's gone up there yet, so we're gonna try and go ahead and use that stuff if we can. Um, yeah, anyway. Go up here, grab all this stuff. XP bottles. Um, but yeah, this series is more going to be a cutcom, or a slightly cutcom type of series now, I think, more than just one where I just show the entire footage and keep all the gameplay in. Um, so don't be surprised if you randomly see, for example, on the side, my kills just shoot up randomly, um, because that may be a thing that happens depending on how tight of a situation I get into. Of course, if I do get into a good fight, I will include it, probably, um, but otherwise I don't really think I would be 
doing too much stuff here. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna quickly craft these as well. I have quite a lot of healing right now, actually. I'm just trying to get the boots, man. Just let me have the boots. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.